former executive secretary of the National Aid Insurance Scheme, Professor Swan Yusuf, has accused Southerners in the country of profiling the Fulani ethnic group, even though some tribes from the region are allegedly responsible for some vices in the northern region of the country. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> even though some tribes from the region are allegedly responsible for some vices <laughs> in the northern region of the country, they brought it. Speaking in an interview with The Sun, Usman alleged that agitations for restructuring and secession are black mates being employed by the Igbos and Yorubas to force their way into the presidential villa in Abuja in 2023. So I don't understand. Who is in who is in power now? Is it not the Northerners? So you want to continue and you are talking about one Nigeria. So by default, you are who, you are not even supposed to be talking about you being there, your not your your region to be there again, or unless that is what you are trying to tell us. So why should they be using that as blackmail? I don't know. Against who? Against you Northerners to continue. And you come out and tell us a uh, one Nigeria, this and that. Even the federal character, the Buari has scattered everything. So you, in your own mind, you think you want to continue. The North should continue. Of course, because you, we've been hearing a lot of them coming out to tell us that uh, it is not by ethnicity. So it, it's not going to be rotational. It's not going to be by whatever. It's going to be by competence. They want to change it. You see that these people, something is really wrong with them. Thank God that you guys are disgracing yourself. You are embarrassing yourselves. Because you cannot be talking like this. And you expect other people to be... To be to be careful to choose their words. You don't choose your words. You don't choose your words. So you don't expect other people to choose their words when they are talking to you because you 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 ah no 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 it's not done. Nobody has monopoly to anything, and that's why I tell tell people who are always coming on somebody's platform and begin to abuse the person. If you abuse the person, they will give you back. Nobody has whatever. Nobody is mean for oh you are the one that's supposed to keep yourself. Respect, they say, is reciprocal. If this kind of people can be making this kind of statement, but they want the rest people not to talk. Because you, as a whatever, this man has been making some kind of a inciting, uh, insightful uh, messages or, 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 or comments. This is the same man that told the southern leaders, governors, that uh, they went to go and meet somewhere. They just put themselves together. They just put themselves together. They went to an hotel and, and, and they didn't consult the Fulani, uh, Fulani leaders before they, they talked about uh, open grazing or ban on open grazing. Hmm. You see, that is how they make them. Uh, this one is a professor. Is a professor. <laughs> well, when asked why he said the southern governor should have consulted Fulani groups before banning open grazing, even though Kano and some other northern Northern state banned the consumption of alcohol without carrying along other stakeholders. And he said, I said I'm repeating it that the Asaba Declaration is unconstitutional based on Section 4 of the Nigerian Constitution, which guarantees every Nigerian the right to live and earn a living in, an, in any part of the country, regardless of ethnicity, politics, or religion. What they did was unconstitutional, null and void. Secondly, making a particular law that is specific against an ethnic group is dangerous. I also said that Asaba Declaration is nothing but a premeditated quit order for all Fulani to leave the South. It is just like the governor of Kano or any state in the North saying do not sell spare parts and does not provide an alternative place for Igbo traders to sell their way their ways. Hmm. Many of these Fulanis in the South have lived their uh, there for generations. Uh, may don't even speak Awosa. So if I'm a governor of a state in the North and say, do not sell spare parts in this place, but I did not provide an alternative place for you to sell your spare parts. It is just like a saying Igbo spare parts uh, dealers should leave my place. As our declaration was nothing but a quit order for the for all Fulani to leave the south that's it to tell you that uh, something is wrong with these people and the hypocrisy and the the earlier a majority of the north uh, southerners begin to speak the better for them because these narratives have not been pushed enough the people that first made this say uh, whether even it is not it's not even by justifying uh, whether the it was it came from the northerners or the northern governors first it is inconsequential whether they they even said it or not 
it's not what we are talking about that is their own cup of tea the people have already taken their decision it's not because they the northern governor said it first but we are just trying to remind him that when those people said it what did he say and lately again when himself and malami they have goofed the so-called northern governors they've come out to say they were the, even the ones that first started this whole thing so they are backing the not southern governors that they were the first set of people that talked about a banning on open grazing but they are still looking for ways of course we know that they were just playing to the gallery but this kind of person himself and malami did not come out to tell us that uh, it was unconstitutional so when the northern governor said it so what were they thinking they wanted to chase the fulani s men from where from the north back to the south or what what was the meaning of that? Because if this man want, is trying to tell us that that is the reason why they, they did that. You can imagine. You say southern governors need to be sensible. So they, they don't have sense. You can imagine this one. If they call you names now, they will say that they call them names. You say they have to be sensible. They are saying all the security problems in the south are becoming because of Fulani headers who have lived there for generations. They are just trying to, they are just trying to find an ethnic group to vilify and I warned that they should be very careful. There are over 15 million Igbo living peacefully in the north. <laughs> the question is that, have you ever complained that they are doing, they are making your life uncomfortable? Even the southern, the northern governors, just like Aisha Yusuf said, see, they are not saying they were not even killing, they were not killing the cows. They were not doing all manner of things. They are not making whatever. They just say, they don't even say, they didn't tell them to even live in the first place. That is how you see these people turning things around. They make, they, they, they twist things. They said just get a place. We are not saying you should this do this and whether you are a northerner, whether you are a full learning, whether you are a Yoruba person, in as much you are into uh um, cattle rearing, look for a place, buy a place, rent a place or whatever, but just you have to be in a place and feed your 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 whatever. You feed them inside, that's what they are saying. But these people will turn around and begin to tell you all manner of stories. They go to Saudi Arabia, they go to Dubai, they go to all of those uh, uh, other countries, I'm sure they have never seen all of those things like a uh, cattle roaming around the streets. Usman also alleged that the Igbos brought drugs to the north, while the biggest armed robbers in the north have allegedly been Igbo, Yoruba, and Edo people. <laughs> he said, I'm 60 years, of, 60 years old and I have lived in this country long enough. All they are saying is bullshit and they know that all the sons many of them are my juniors and interact with them and they call me they are telling us that the fulani are the cause of the security problem in the old south in the old south and he said the north is not afraid of restructuring and uh, if uh, he said if your if my cow destroy your farm produce is there are there no laws for you to use to be able to track them like seriously <laughs> they are even nice in the first place that it even destroy your whatever this this man is something is really wrong and he's saying that the uh, edo people igbo and yoruba they are the biggest arm robbers in the north have you ever complained no have you ever complained you are just trying to shift blames you see these are the same people when somebody is coming like this talking like this then what are people doing together you are not afraid of restructuring so what is not the problem what is now the problem? What are you afraid of? They are very, very afraid. It is obvious. And see the way they are disgracing themselves at, uh, at, 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 uh, internationally. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.